Antibiotics are very important in the treatment of acne. Uh, we know that certainly they suppress P. acnes, an important factor in the uh, pathogenesis of acne, uh, and they also act by their anti-inflammatory role. Certainly oral antibiotics are very useful when you have major amount of acne, or you have, say, truncal acne where it's difficult to put uh, creams and gels on on an ongoing basis. However, they should be used for the shortest amount of time as possible. In the terms of topical antibiotics, again, we know that they suppress P. acnes. They also help with the inflammation. However, they should not be used as monotherapy. They're very safe and effective when combined with, say, a retinoid or when combined with benzoyl peroxide. In a big study of about 4,500 patients, we know that a fixed combination of a clindamycin and also a retinoid was very safe and effective in treating acne. When in doubt, you can always add a benzoyl peroxide wash to your regimen. Certainly we know that uh, antibiotic resistance is something that is a, a problem in the marketplace. Uh, it has some relevance in, to us as uh, dermatologists because uh, we often tend to use uh, oral antibiotics and topical antibiotics. Uh, these theoretically can cause problems with the uh, resistance of P. acnes and make it so that our acne isn't uh, treated as well. Uh, certainly when you're using an oral antibiotic, you want to use it for the shortest amount of time as possible. Uh, say two, three, four, five months. Uh, and certainly when you're using a topical antibiotic, you want to not use a topical antibiotic as monotherapy. You must combine it either with a benzoyl peroxide or a retinoid or a benzoyl peroxide wash to achieve your effect. Okay. Acne is actually a very complex, uh, multifactorial uh, disorder. Uh, traditionally, we've gone on and we've understood that there's uh, P. acnes colonizing the duct, extra sebum production, abnormalities of keratinization, and this induces an innate immunity uh, response. That's our traditional thinking. We're now sort of questioning that, and we now know that there is actually inherent barrier defects within the uh, skin that induce inflammation, and this can be very early on, just at the age of when we're getting common comedogenesis, uh, and then on further where we actually have the pustules and nodules that cause further inflammation. On the basis of this, you have to target the inflammation, and targeting that inflammation can be through various ways, often with the use of a topical antibiotic in combination, say, with a retinoid or a benzoyl peroxide. In addition to that, you have to think about that barrier defect. The barrier defect has changed the paradigm 15, 20 years ago, we tried to dry and irritate the skin. At the present time, we are thinking much more that we need to constantly moisturize the skin. So using a moisturizing type of wash, using a uh, emollient or a moisturizer in our regimen is very beneficial. Uh, acne is a fairly complex disease to the naive, uh, you just put on a gel or a cream and everybody gets better. Uh, you have to have a number of tricks up your sleeve to be able to uh, make your patient's acne much better. Uh, some of these tricks would include making sure that you use small amounts of the particular uh, topical product, uh, using uh, a field therapy still to do all of the area, uh, maybe using it less frequently, say using it every second or every third night, I think patient selection is also very important in picking something, uh, if patients tell you that they've got very sensitive skin, to going to products such as, say, topical Dapsone, uh, which may not be very irritating but still gives you the efficacy, or going to a fixed combination um, medication such as clindamycin and uh, a retinoid that, again, in a special gel can make it less irritating for the patient. Ultimately, what you're trying to do is make that patient adherent. And other things that you can do is possibly use a moisturizer, moisturizing uh, wash, an emollient in conjunction with your therapy. I think also having the patient come back and making a return appointment uh, 
sort of to make sure that they are adherent is very beneficial.